Welcome to Subramani. Uh, recently, I had uh, a meeting with a friend and his uh, wife, and it led to a very interesting conversation. So, his wife wanted to buy some jewelry for uh, about 15 lakhs or maybe 20 lakhs. Uh, there was no great occasion or anything, but uh, she wanted to buy that jewelry. And uh, my friend said, would I go and buy that kind of jewellery, removing money from my portfolio? Uh, is it a percent, as a percentage of his portfolio, it is not really much and as a percentage of his total net worth, including his house, etc., it is really not a very significant amount. Uh, but would he want to sell some shares and buy jewellery for his wife worth even uh, say half a percent of his portfolio or one percent of his portfolio extremely doubtful and even his wife was uh, i was not i'm not very sure whether she was serious about it she just spoke about it in passing and that was at the beginning of the conversation we had met for lunch and uh, it was a longish uh, two three hour kind of lunch and uh, so the question to ask is, uh, would I go and buy, now putting myself in uh, the A's position, uh, would I go and buy myself a new uh, Canon camera, say Canon R3 mirrorless, which costs approximately 5 lakhs of rupees. Uh, and would I, would I go and buy it? Can I afford it? The question is not whether I can afford it, the question is whether I justify it. Uh, whether I myself think that I take photographs worth uh, using a camera of that price or is it just an ego kick that I want to buy an R3 because somebody else has bought? Is it peer pressure? Uh, is it looking at somebody else clicking some uh, 20 frames per second or 10 frames per second and saying, my God, my camera is not that fast, I need it. Uh, is it is it peer pressure? Is it uh, is it greed? Is it what? I don't know. No, right. So uh, same thing for my friend's wife. And uh, would she want to buy the jewelry? Why would she want to buy the jewelry? Maybe vanity, maybe greed, maybe peer pressure. Any of those things. So my friend and I were in a conversation when he said, uh, Subra, I uh, recently lost uh, ten lakhs in a uh, cryptocurrency deal. And I almost burst out laughing, A, because he can afford to take that loss and B, because uh, we have discussed a lot about cryptocurrencies and we had decided that we will never uh, enter that simply not because uh, you don't make money. Of course, a lot of people may be making money, but because we don't understand it, right? So that is good enough reason why we should not be entering something which we don't understand. So why did he buy, why did he do a cryptocurrency deal worth about 20 lakhs? Uh, two, three things. One, like he said later on, uh, we all knew this would go wrong, right? So, he shouldn't have entered. But uh, there is always this greed to put a small portion at least of your money and say, uh, let me check out how this works because there are some experiments which actually work. For example, I do not invest in companies which are uh, based out of Hyderabad. Largely, I have not made money from those companies and I am not comfortable. But recently, I bought GMR, uh, GMR Infra or GMR Airports and I made money, right? So, sometimes you have your rules, you still break your rules, you make money. Then you start questioning the rules, whether those rules should be there or no. When he brought, some, he bought some cryptocurrency and uh, in about uh, less than a month or 45 days, he lost 60% or 50% and then decided there to come out of it and uh, he came out of it. So, his total loss was about 10 lakhs of rupees. Like I said, he can afford that loss. The question is, could he have bought jewellery for his wife for 10 lakhs? The answer is no. But he has lost that money in the market. So, similarly, could I have bought this camera, uh, say Canon R3 uh, for 5 lakhs? Can I afford it? Yes, of course, I can afford it. But the question is, do I need it? The answer is no, I do not need it. I do just, my photographs just do not do justification even for a simple Canon R uh, entry level camera. But then there is always this greed and peer pressure. Uh, so, for us to buy. So, the question is what happened to him? Well, he was sitting in a group, this friend of mine was sitting in a group where everybody was dealing with crypto. So, in uh, one of those guys had said that he had made 10x the money in crypto, which is a huge uh, temptation. So, 
even though you have logic working in your head you know you have friends who will tell you not to invest you have your uh, very close uh, circle I, what i would call call your investing circle uh, telling you not to invest but you still go and put some small money and come so his logic is he says i knew this was a bad deal we have discussed about it we have said we will not invest in crypto and still in spite of this and he is not young right he is 48 49 younger than me yes but he is not very young so when in spite of all these things he still fell to peer pressure and greed right so it's very difficult even we know all these are things which happen but we still i i recently lost money in uh, uh, z uh, which i knew was bad management but there was this uh, feeling that disney would take it over or sony would take it over or in the worst case scenario geo would take it over somewhere that uh, thing but you know basically you are going against your grain of saying this is bad quality management they have got into a mess they have got into a uh, infrastructure which is pulling them down blah 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 you know all the dirt but still the temptation at 220 or something was to say Hazi ah, is at 220 is not so bad ultimately uh, it used to be 280 and etc uh, etc et and it was projected to go to 800 so it can't be too bad at this price you made money in this share in the past I must have made a lot of money in this share in the past in trading so is it a good company to invest i am not even getting into that i am saying after the event happens it is easy to say oh god i knew that i shouldn't have entered crypto oh my god i knew i shouldn't have bought gmr oh my god i knew i shouldn't have bought z so recently i sold z and i lost uh, well 5 lakhs which is a canon r uh, canon r3 uh, so the question is it's not as though you do not know you know it but you still are under peer pressure uh, for broker is calling you and saying something big is happening in Z you know you shouldn't fall to these calls you know but then there are you call up two three other people yeah 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 something is happening uh, the family is getting rid of it so therefore it's going to be taken over by Sony by Disney by Geo something like that and then in that one weak moment you fall right so it is not as though you didn't know Saraswati had done the job but Parvati the goddess of wisdom did not hold your hand back and say idiot you know this Saraswati has told you why are you still doing it so somewhere that gap you know is taken over by greed and peer pressure saying everybody is buying it it can't be wrong this broker can't be wrong that broker can't be wrong uh, so let me also buy it oh it's fallen to 176 let's average uh, but I recently got out at uh, about 200 uh, and I lost a packet uh, yes I could have bought a Canon R3 with that uh, so the important lesson is even for experienced people what really happens what really happens is suddenly people wake up and say oh my god this is wrong uh, ultimately this should not have been done the cash flows do not justify the price right oh the uh, ad revenues are falling in television didn't you know that z will produce bad results because ad revenues are falling uh, all the advertisement is going to ott don't you see it don't you see that you don't switch on the television or even if you do switch on the television it is to watch some ott it is not really to watch some channels when was the last time you watched a channel other than cricket or something like that we don't we have shifted we have shifted to so it's all visible but why was it not visible when z was 224 i have no clue right so these kind of things do happen we make mistakes greed takes over peer pressure takes over are you you're not in crypto how come you're not in crypto so your group of five people uh, four of them already put money in crypto they're all claiming that they made uh, 100 percent in a year 200 percent in a year thousand percent in two years whatever all those big numbers and suddenly you say okay how much can i lose if i put 20 lakhs maximum i can lose is 10 lakhs because by the time i'll come out so can I take a 10 lakh rupee risk? Yes, but was it risk or was it, was it stupidity? It's very difficult to find out because there are some times when you break some of your rules and make money. So will I, am I saying that I will never again lose money? No, I'm not saying that. Somewhere greed, peer pressure, something will take over. All the friends will call up and say, are you mad? Why are you not buying this? And then you start looking, you read your rules, you talk to people in the field and you say, oh, it's not too bad. Let me put, let me put some money. So uh, you, you keep looking at things and saying, okay, when will I learn? I don't know when we will learn because uh, when Galileo said the world is round or uh, India said it is Bhugol, 
people didn't accept it people accepted it much later so similarly when the company is overvalued you can be overvalued for a long period of time anil ambani i still remember anil ambani group of companies i never touched it i thought the cash flow never justified the market cap so i never touched it i never made uh, money nor did i make any losses uh, for me cash flow was very important and there was not enough cash flow for me to buy any of uh, the shares even uh, reliance uh, uh reliance nippon mutual fund i wouldn't touch it till uh, adig group got out of it so some of those rules uh, i made i stuck to it uh, but some of the rules you yourself break and you then look at the logic and say what is the logic in this price being so high but you can't really spit against the wind the the problem is we all make mistakes uh, and then uh the market wakes up together that is the problem it's like you know people come in it's like a i keep saying this is like a theater uh people come in one at a time and they the movie is on people may come late people may come on time it doesn't really matter but when the movie is over everybody leaves so we all went and bought uh, cryptocurrency and then we all lost money in cryptocurrency so somebody entered early and they lost less uh, somebody entered late and they lost more so that that is a fact of life right so uh, you have to have tremendous amount of discipline or the set of rules or saying unless these two people uh, clear it uh, one is my wife and one is my friend unless both these people clear it and i have uh, and my wife knows these are the rules of investing so she will check and say is this true is this true is this company uh, really well managed uh, are you happy with the choice of auditor are you happy happy with the board of directors some simple five questions uh, if she asks those questions and you say yes then you talk to another friend who asks more difficult questions is uh, is the free cash flow really justified will it really make free cash flow this year uh, right so the question is these questions also then slowly you come out of it and buy but yes we will continue to make mistakes and we should laugh at it and we know that we will make mistakes and we know that when we enter the transaction we know there is risk we know that there you could lose money and therefore you say okay i entered cryptocurrency with 20 lakhs uh, and uh, at 10 lakhs i decided that's enough i can afford to lose uh, 20 lakhs but i decided the 10 lakhs is the loss that i want to take in it so the question is uh, will you go and splurge money on a luxury product maybe no will you lose more than that in single transactions in the equity market i will so how do you explain all this because ultimately a 5 lakh loss is a 5 lakh loss whether it is 5 lakh for buying a luxury item which you may not be able to justify the usage or whether you buy a share and uh, lose uh, 5 lakhs is the same 5 lakhs out of your net worth 5 lakhs is gone how do you reconcile all this that is a challenge in investing and in life thank you so what did i learn from my uh, experience in z right ultimately you make uh, money but uh, there has to be some learning also so what did i really learn from this really not much i knew i shouldn't have done it so i think before i go and do something like this next time uh, i will go and splurge some money saying okay itna to paisa maine bacha liya uh, so i i'll go and buy myself buy myself a nice good camera with nice good uh, chip uh, even those chips are so expensive considering that if you want fast chips there they cost you few thousands uh the question is i indulge myself and say okay if i had put this money in z i would have lost more so i put only 20 lakhs in z instead of 25 lakhs that 5 lakhs is here sitting with me nice camera and uh, hopefully i will use it better thank you